Hi everyone, I'm your mistress of manifestations and welcome to my YouTube channel. Cheers! Hi Libra. No, why did I say Libra? Hello Scorpio. You could be dealing with the Libra by the way. This is going to be a reading for the zodiac sign of Scorpio. How are you doing my darlings? I'm sure all of you are keeping fine, healthy, safe, happy with a lot of peace of mind. And so be it. Now, Scorpio, I keep thinking Libra. Are you dealing with a Libra, Scorpio? Just putting this out there. Now, this is a general reading, my darlings. Not all the messages here are going to resonate with you, but if it does, claim it 100% without any doubt. Now, this is your sun sign, right? I want you to go to Google, calculate the other placements in your chart using a birth chart calculator, which is free. Find out where your moon, your rising, and your Venus is. Go to my channel, watch those readings. For example, if your moon is in Capricorn, go and watch the Capricorn reading. There will be additional messages there for you. I promise you, Scorpio. Now, I'm going to start by just taking three of my Lenormans to ask what, what the Scorpio needs to know right now. I don't know why I felt like taking the bottom and the top. Wow. Okay. Can you give me clear guidance, please, for my Scorpios? My God, that just fell. All right. Oh boy, there are too many cards, but it's okay. So the first card that I want to tell you about is a home. Okay, This is, of course, this is a number four. Four is, you know, the house of cancer, which is about home. So uh, this could be something about a home. Uh, I do not know if there are secrets in a home because the book, Okay, it could be a book of knowledge. Um, and then I have the magnifying glass. Are some, of you, are some of you trying to find out about some secrets in a home? Just putting this out there. This is about something about a home or something hidden coming to light. Because if you're going to go and look for it, it's not in plain sight now, is it, Scorpio? That means you have to go and find out. Is there something going on in a home which is a secret? When I see this book, it's like, you know, the book of secrets. It's like everything is out. There's something going on in a home which is secretive and somebody has tried to go and find out information. I'm feeling this very strongly. Now, whatever is happening is happening in divine timing. And I have a feeling, I have a feeling, okay? This is a card of timing, okay? So I don't know if the tower is going to come out, you know, which Scorpio, which is your card, but some information is coming in in divine timing. It is, and somebody has gone looking for it. This is a card of friendships, uh, your close association, you know, going out and about, your little group of friends. And then I have the tree. This is about your roots, about setting roots. The home could be that too. Or this could be somebody from your roots, um, like your hometown. Have you doubted somebody's loyalty? I don't know why I feel this. Somebody has gone looking for some information about a home or in a home, and they have the, the secrets. I don't know if it's about somebody's loyalty or about somebody's roots. Very weird. And the home and the tree is your roots. Okay. Whatever it is, I have the dog here, which is, a, which is you know, a very childlike energy, like the dog, little puppy wants to play. This could be about loyalty. This could be about children. Sometimes I know it's not, about child. there's a child card in this too, but I'm feeling that, you know, child playing with a puppy. I don't know why I'm feeling this. Then I have the sun. I love this card. Whatever you're looking for, you are going to find the information. Are you trying to find out some information about somebody in your social circle who pretends to be your friend? I don't know. Let's see the mask or, you know, uh, some of those cards come out in the other deck, but there's going to be a small, this is the clover, a small uh, window of amazing luck coming your way for money. If some of you are looking for finances for a home, it's coming in. Scorpio, I promise you, it's coming in. But there's somebody here who's questioning somebody's loyalty. Can't shake that message off. But I love the sun card here. There are children involved too, because sun is Leo. Leo energy. Um, Sun is Leo energy. I don't know. It's something going on in a home, Scorpio. Can you comment below that? You know, uh, it is something about a home or in a home where somebody's questioning somebody's loyalty. Is it about children? You know, I think I've given you this message before. Oh. 
you know, the book can also be like records. And the children and the child and going and looking. Is somebody going and trying to find some records about a child? Hey, this is going in all directions, my God. Um, I don't know. The sun, you know, could be about a sun. But the sun is children. It's your creative projects. All right. Now, uh, before I forget, Scorpio, apply this reading to you or to the person you're thinking about when you come across this reading. And if you know the zodiac sign of the person you're thinking about, go and check They're those readings too. It's okay to snoop a little bit. It's fine. It's healthy snooping. Now, uh, and all those lovelies who are watching this reading for a Scorpio, that is my cross watchers, namaste and welcome. So let's go, Scorpio. I'm going to be taking my Ciro Marchetti, my Gilded Reverie. Okay. Uh, to give you your messages. And I feel there's some secrets going on in a home and somebody is going to try to find the root of the problem in the home. The root of the secret. And there's a, it's about a child. But there's going to be a small window of luck. I don't know what that is about. Or what, I'm just giving you the messages. Hey, I'm the messenger, man. I don't question it, okay? Come on, let's go. Come on. Okay. First of all, you could be dealing with a Libra. I'm just putting this out there. Just putting this out there. Can you give me clear messages, please, Spirit? Please, my Scorpios. Clear the whole deck wants to fall. Give me clear messages from my Scorpios, please. The cards are coming out in really weird ways. Hold on. Just see what I got, okay? All right, now we have the sun again. I'll give you a message directly with this. Sun coming out twice is very, very powerful in your reading. This is about health, happiness, creative projects, children. I feel this is about a child. I feel this again. This is about a child. Now, the higher offense is coming out here. This could be about a marriage. This could be about things, you know, people who do things by the book and then I have the book. Look, the higher offense is somebody who does things by the book. It's A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D. You cannot go A, D, C. No, 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 no. Somebody who believes in that blue tape, red tape, pink tape, black, all that. Nameless, faceless organizations and people who have power over you. This could also be about a church or about a religious institution that is bigger than you. This could be about your faith, about your beliefs. It's also a card of Taurus. I don't know if there are secrets in a marriage. Somebody try to go and find out something hidden. There's something hidden here in plain sight in somebody's home. I don't know what it is, but it's something about a marriage. And somebody has gone to find out the secrets. They, the, that card of, you know, the, what is that called? I don't know if somebody has gone to find out if somebody is loyal to them. Or it's about a child. Because this is a card of searching, looking for information. Just putting this out there. Okay. Just putting this out there. But the sun card, and, and you know this card of uh, garden. This is your little social circle of people who you call your friends. And then I have the dog here. Big question somebody's loyalty in your friendships. Again, I just feel that. So Leo is strong in your reading. We have Taurus. Show you other cards. Let me take a few more before I say anything. This is about a relationship for sure. For sure, for sure. Whoops. You know, your cards are falling in weird ways. I mean, like, I don't know. I'm not doing nothing. Please give me clear guidance on my scorpions, please. Yeah. I have another major arcana here for you. My God, you've shown up in your own reading, the death card, Scorpio. This reading is on point. And I have the chariot card here as well. This is a card of movement. Maybe you're moving homes. It's a card of cancer. Cancer is strong in your reading too, my darlings. Now, gosh. 
I am talking to a couple. Both of you are showing up as fire. Okay. Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. This could be a couple. And I feel this could be a partnership or a committed partnership because I have the Hierophant here, which is about marriage. Okay. I also have the Ten of Pentacles, which tells me that you guys have um, created a lot of abundance in the 3D. As in, this is a very advantageous matrimony. Let me tell you that. You know, and the, and the fish card there tells me there is money. Fishes are about money. That's the card of money. So the king and the queen of the king and the queen of wands are both fire signs. Aries Dio Sag. Okay. This could be a partnership that is on an equal footing. And I feel both of you, your roots are the same because that card, you know, the tree. It's about your family, uh, your roots, you know, whatever you call your home. You, you are both from the same place. You all, you're showing up as the same suit, if you know what I mean. Both of you are showing up as warm, fiery, passionate, lustful, you know, uh, hot, sexy, happening, competent, go-getters, people who are interested in interested in manifesting things in their life. I call the queen of wands a magical queen. And I call the king of wands somebody who just goes after what they want. They do not take no for an answer. They love to chase. Now, there could be a little bit of ego involved here. Some of you could be having a strong Leo placement in your charts. Go and check the Leo reading as well. Now, this is a marriage, a very advantageous matrimony at that because there is a potential or you already have this ten of pentacles. Where is, you know, like a chest of money. Money is not the problem here at all, at all. Now, I have the Gemini card here as well. The Gemini card is about a connection that is off the charts, you know. Uh, it's like an alien connection where two people meet and connect in ways that cannot be explained. It's like a connection that is out of this world. As you can see, these two people are lost in each other's arms. It's like they're lost to the world and they're drowning in water, you know, which is your emotions. There's a lot of love and emotion and there's a lot of passion here too, Ace of Wands. This is like that light coming on. I don't know what the light bulb moment is because when somebody goes looking for something and, you know, when this card comes out and the sun, it's like the light comes on. It's like, oh, oh my God. But this could also mean that there's a lot of heat, lust, sex, and passion in this relationship. This is a very passionate relationship. You know, this is like that fire one that somebody has, you know, that fire burning within them for someone. And you have the lovers. Do you know the other meaning of the Gemini card is a choice? A choice. Somebody's stuck here trying to make a choice. Somebody's stuck here trying to make a choice between two people. And I think there are there is another person here because, because. There are two nights. There are too many people here, Scorpio. Look, don't go by the sex of the cards. Now, I wanted to go with the energy. I don't know if the divine feminine is dealing with two more knights who are younger. Okay? One is a very uh, cold, cut, calculative, detached individual who is not very mature in their in the way they speak. They just come in with a lot of harsh. They're in full gallop. They come in with a lot of information and they bounce. But the, what they come in with is not well thought. This could also be info coming in about legalities. The Knight of Pentacles is Earth energy. This is, uh, this is air. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is Taurus. You have Taurus again. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, energy. Somebody who's very slow. Somebody who's waiting. You know, somebody's not rushing in and out. They take their time coming in. But you have somebody stalking someone. Of course, at the page of soul, now this could be a child. Maybe as a couple, you have a child. Because there's a lot of abundance here in a home. No doubt. And the home tells me that somebody has created a home. Ten of Pentacles. You have built something in the 3D. You could have a child. This is again an air sign. Okay. Uh, Aquarius. Libra, Gemini. Talkative. Bratty chatty or this is also low-key spying or stalking on social media 
somebody spying and stalking someone on social media, Loki obsessed. I don't know which one this is. Maybe it's the Knight of Pentacles because they are very slow in coming in the Knight of Pentacles. They do not rush. But that pentacle in their hand tells me that when they come in, that offer is as good as gold. Also a card of somebody giving you half-truths, somebody delaying giving you the news. And then this is very harsh information coming in. I don't know if some of you have found out some very harsh information by snooping or you felt that somebody here is not honest and you've doubted somebody's loyalty in a home. Now, whenever I see this lover's card, I always feel, you know, that the woman here and the, the feminine energy here, whoever is showing up as a feminine energy, she's so open as in, you know, she's not even wearing, you know, she's, she's so scantily dressed, but this man who's holding her, you know, in his arms and, you know, they're, they're like looking at each other and it's almost like ordained in the stars with that beautiful aura, you know, the golden aura shining from above. He's wearing a suit of armor. Somebody is not opening up. They're not. They, they're keeping the cards close to their chest. I don't know what this is about. I don't know. And the three of cups and the three of swords. This could be partying, going out. We are the garden card here. I don't know if there's somebody in your friend circle. Because the garden is your immediate friends that you spend time with. And the three of cups. This could be going out partying and drinking with your friends, your close group of associates. But why is the three of swords here? This is heartbreak. I don't know if you're questioning the loyalty of somebody who's pretending to be a very close friend to you or to your family, but they're not. There's something about their loyalty. I just feel this. I feel this. You know, I'm going to take a card or two and I'm going to ask a question. Now, I have the cancer card here and I have you, the death card. This is your card. This is a card of bringing something to an end, but it's never a literal death. It is a transformation. What are you bringing to an end? And you're moving, by the way. Chariot is a card of moving. You know, uh, you could be moving homes. That home, home, this home energy is very strong. There's something in a home, whether it's secrets, whether it's about a child. You know, I feel somebody has gone and tried to find out something quietly. Like, I'm, I'm not saying you snoop and tell everybody I'm snooping. But, you know, sometimes you want to find out about your lineage. Like, you know, you and your partner, like, let's go see who is a... This is not that type of snooping. This is that type of let's... I need to find out the root of a problem. In my home. Is there somebody in your home that you don't trust? I don't know why I feel this. And you're moving away, you're leaving this home. You know, I'm going to ask another card. I'm going to ask for another card. Because I have the three of swords. I have the three of cups. And the other two cards that I have too are you being stuck. And you feeling like a beggar. Like an outsider. Looking in. Could give me two more cards, please, for my scorpion? Okay, to start with, I have a Leo card again. This is the card of strength. Somebody has been holding back, or somebody has been scared. Am I confronting someone? You know, I wonder if this Knight of Pentacles, okay, and this Knight of uh, Swords are two people in your home or your friends. But they're younger to you. These and these energies are younger to some to to you're showing up as a king or a queen. Is somebody you're dealing with two people on the side? Something going on here with somebody else. There is. And the strength card, somebody has been holding up back, you know, from expressing what they feel. And it's taken them a lot of courage to do that. And this has been a big fear for someone, you know, this whole, um, because they have, they've had beliefs, very strong beliefs. 
in doing things a certain way, or perhaps they believe that once you marry, it's for keeps. Something going on here where somebody's beliefs are coming in their way. Okay, because they believe this is how things are supposed to be done. And they have not, uh, what can I say? They, they, they are very stubborn. They just don't want to change that. But something is forcing them to change. Something is bringing an end to that, their way of thinking. Something is very traditional, yeah. Like I said, doing things by the book. You, you know, the, 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 the death card is releasing that. Just letting it go and saying, you know, it's not serving me anymore. Now, this is a committed partnership. This is a committed partnership. Somebody's been controlling themselves and being very patient, making that inner, you know, that, that inner strength, finding it. It's also for me sometimes the boss. If somebody is trying to make friends with you and pretending to, I don't know why I feel, you know, it's like this woman is making friends with the boss. I always think the line is like, you know, the king energy. There's only one king in the jungle. It's like a boss, you know, and there is somebody with an ego here, big ego. And, and when I see the knight of, <clears throat> when I see the ace of wands, it is somebody who's very lustful and passionate. I don't know who that is. I do not know, but there is somebody who's very lusty and passionate here. I mean, uh, not just lusting for you. I don't know for who else. But there's something going on here in a home. There are secrets in a home. And somebody has been holding back. And then, you know, somebody's been holding back information too. Holding back information too. And not giving you the whole truth. I wonder if, I just wonder if these two knights who are here, the knight of pentacles, and this, you know, could be harsh information coming in about legalities. What information did you find out, yeah, Scorpio? But it's got to do with some kind of a heartbreak. And this Knight of Pentacles and this Knight of Swords are two younger energies. You know? And this one is somebody who takes a lot of time to make a move. And I'm getting another message. Do you have somebody who is like a hidden enemy? And they are coming in with such harsh information. I don't know. This person seems to have a very strong presence in this, in this, in this reading. And this is a card of Virgo. By the way, Virgo is also, you know, the hermits. You know, they go and snoop. There's something here. Who something has gone on in a home which has, I don't know if you have somebody low-key stalking a home. I'm getting this message too. Somebody is coming in with very harsh information, and that is going to be like that light bulb moment, you know, that sunlight. And they're going to expose somebody here. So it's going to be somebody's ace of swords clarity. And you know, the fish, fishes, you know, it's it's Pisces. And Pisces is ruled by Neptune, that is the fog. Has somebody been creating confusion about? I don't know if it's about loyalty or something in a home or children. Then I'll check this. They have been using institutions like the government, the church to cover something up. What? I'm just putting this out there. Hey, comment below. Let me know, man, if this is happening because I'm getting this very, very clearly. But clarity is coming. This and the sun card twice in your reading. Oh, my God. Do not worry. This is clarity on steroids. The whole book is going to be open. There are going to be no more secrets. I also wonder if somebody has been using an institution to cover something up. The help of an institution to keep something covered under the wraps, under under wraps, and not allowing it to be exposed, but it is. And there's somebody coming in with very harsh information, showing what trickery, fuckery. Do not like this card in a reading. Seven of Swords. Somebody who's being sneaky AF, and this individual knows what they're doing is wrong. As you can see, they're just turning back to check. You know, am I getting caught? And they're going to keep doing it till they get caught. Okay. Till then they pretend to be oblivious and what they're doing is wrong. There's somebody doing something in your home. And this is somebody who's very close to you, pretending to be your friend. There's been a heartbreak. This is, you know, backstabbing. In the three, you go to the seven. Terrible. This is backstabbing. This is somebody who doesn't have your back. This is betrayal. 
your heart has been pierced. And you know, the Leo card is very strong because I have the sun twice. Somebody's put you in third party situations or, you know, this is your group of friends. Like I said, the garden and this is friends that you hang out with. It's somebody in your friend circle. You felt, <clears throat> give you another message. Has somebody lodged themselves in your home? And you have started to feel like an outsider in your own home. Like you're on the outside looking inside. Whoever has lodged is a younger energy. Okay, because as a couple, you're showing up as the king and queen. There are knights here. Somebody who's a younger energy. Don't go by the sex of the cards. Somebody here who's lodging themselves into your home or into your family life and pretending to be very close, but they're not. You're finding out information that they, they, they're sneaky and there's somebody putting someone in third party situations here. Five of cups. You're walking away. You know, when I see this card, this is somebody who cannot believe what they have just gone through. It's so painful for them. They just can't believe. They are just stuck in that funk of grief. Now you have the five of cups and you have the five of pentacles. Five is always a number of imbalance. This relationship is imbalanced. I think it's only about sex and it's about money because I have the ace of wands, which is lust, sex. That's a lower vibration of your swadhishtana. You know, it's a sacral. It holds your sex organs. And ten of pentacles is just money. This relationship is lopsided. It's only about money and sex. These two cards are about an imbalance because they are both fives. This is grief, loss, sadness. There are still some positives, but you're stuck in that pity party that is again the Pisces energy. They love to be the victim. You're not able to get over someone. You're trying your best to release this. You're not. Uh, why do you feel stuck? <clears throat> you're stuck with your thoughts because thoughts are what you're thinking, what you're speaking. From the seven, you go to the eight. Three, seven, and eight. And all these are just, and you have the clarity too. I'm glad that is coming too. You feel stuck. And I think even though you know somebody's betrayed you, that Hierophant, you know, is about uh, nameless, faceless organizations. Like I said, you're dealing with somebody who, who is... Uh, perhaps got a good position in society and you just cannot come up and speak against them, Scorpio, and you feel stuck. But this is your own self-created prison, your mental prison of your thoughts and your fears. And I love to see this card here because you've been holding back like hell. You know, holding back from speaking up. It's like your wish that was blocked and your fears were just taking over your life. And you were not able to conquer what scares you, but you did. You did feel stuck for a long time. <clears throat> you felt a sense of grief and loss. And you know, the divine is trying to show you there are two cups still standing. I don't know if this is children. I don't know. You're so focused on what you, perhaps what you found out just blew your brains because you trusted somebody. The dog is about trusting somebody. It's somebody who you play with every day. Play with? I don't know why I said that. Maybe it's your gym buddies, your work buddies. You know why I said play? Because the puppies love to play and they're like, come on, let's go play. You know this person who's betrayed you, I think. And, and it involves your partner. You cannot believe. You cannot believe it's you're in shock. You know, the enemy is in your home. And it's from your roots. And you found out. It's also about children. You know, it's like you're trying to go to the root of a problem in your home because you started to feel like an outsider <clears throat> in your own home. Five is a number of imbalance. It's like you're standing outside and there are people inside this church who are comfortable, but you can go into, but you don't feel like going in. You feel like you, you know, you're, you're on the outside looking in, but it's your house. And the house card is very strong here. Cancer. Somebody here 
feels left out in a situation at home or they're being made to feel like an outsider. I don't know. It's three of cups and three of swords. It's quintessential. Hmm. Three people, third party situations. Somebody has put you in. And it's with a friend or it's with an acquaintance, somebody who you share roots with, somebody who you share a friendship with. And this person is younger to you. You're walking away. I have the world card. There is a world card. You're closing out the cycle. You know, whatever clarity has come to you, whatever harsh information has come in, it's been very hard for you. Somebody is not able to come to grips with it. The level of the deceit that you've had to face. Tired. Somebody's closing out the cycle. As you can see, this person is this huge moon. You know, the moon is about your fears. It's about your secrets. It's about things which are done in the dark. You're walking away peacefully. You are choosing to leave a situation because you found something out. I'm also getting a message. There's somebody watching your home. And somebody is coming with information to give you. I don't know if that is somebody who has some kind of beef against you. Look, th these are very weird energies, Scorpio. But then again, Scorpio, it's you. You know, you're one of those beautiful animals, insects. I think it's an insect, right? That carries poison in their body. And when you love, you love very deeply. Same goes for hate. You've carried that poison inside you, you know. And that's your archetype. That's what you do. You can't believe the deceit you've gone through. With, in a very close partnership in a home. And the betrayal has happened in your home. You've allowed somebody into your home thinking they're your friend. They're not. Question their loyalty. There's something about loyalty being questioned here. You're walking away. You are walking away. Moving on. You could be ghosting somebody if you're not, in, you know, you, you, you're just leaving. You are going to be leaving in search for something better because there's no reciprocity here. Five of pentacles is imbalanced. You're going towards your abundance. What you thought you could get to start with, you're closing out the cycle. So world God is Jupiter ruled. You're ending a cycle, a very painful cycle. This is completing a huge karmic cycle. You're putting distance. That's why the cancer card is here. You're moving physically. You're starting the next phase of your life because you know this is the last major arcana and then the journey of the fool starts. This is being, you know, you're just satisfied with whatever. You are leaving. You are removing yourself from this energy. And I'm glad um, this energy, uh, it breaks my heart to see you like this, but you can't even look up. You are overcoming that and leaving. I'm gonna make a choice. Again, this is about choices. I don't know if there's somebody waiting for you because, you know, when I see the two of wands, it's your thinking, where do I put my passion now? I'm going to complete the cycle, this huge karmic cycle. You're taking a pause but the journey of the fool begins and you have a choice to make because I have the Gemini card here. It's also about choices between two people. Maybe there's somebody waiting there for you. You know, I'll give you another message. I don't know if this is going to make sense to you. You can take it or leave it. You've been going through some problems in a home, okay, where you found out about some kind of a betrayal, something going on right under your nose, okay? And you've had somebody on the outside, okay, who's been watching your relationship because they love you, but they're very slow in coming in, but they have come in with some information, which is forcing you to make a choice between the person you are with and that person who's waiting outside for you, who's putting this out there. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to take some more major arcana cards, stop them. To see what other messages I can give with my situation tarot deck. You give me some clear guidance for my Scorpios, please. Gosh. Clear guidance for my Scorpios, please. Thank you. Hmm. I first want to tell you, you have the sun. God, price in this reading. I want you to know, do not worry about a situation. And if it is a son that you're worried about, do not worry about him. That child is fine and he's protected, okay? 
please Scorpio. If you're worried about your health, do not worry. If some of you have been having health problems, I'll give you another message, which has forced you to go and look for <clears throat> solutions. I think you'll find your answers in this, in your ancestry. So it's got to do with something in your DNA or in your, in your, in your blood. I don't know why I had to say that. Don't worry. You're going to find those answers. Do not worry. The clover is here. It's going to be a small window of luck. This is also Jupiter ruled, where the answers will be given to you. And it's all happening in divine timing, giving you a message for help. Now, now I want you to know that you have Leo very strong in this reading. You have the emperor, Aries. You're dealing with somebody. You know, there is a king and a queen. There are knights and there's an emperor. You know, and I always feel that the emperor, okay, uh, the emperor energy is somebody who's a boss. Somebody's got a good position. They've not just breathed and passed through life. They have created that position for them. And they sit on that throne like they own it. There's somebody here with a huge ego. I don't know who this is. And that ego is like, I'm the shit. And they believe it. And Leo is, you know, the energy is a bit egoistic too. Be dealing with a Leo, you could be dealing with an Aries. You have Leo very strong in this reading. High Priestess. The High Priestess is, of course, um, Cancer Pisces. It's about you know a very spiritual relationship. Sure. Okay. You have the Hierophant and the High Priestess. This could be a relationship that is. I don't know. Um, very, very spiritual. Sure. With the three of cups coming here. This is the mistress. It's the mistress. You know, when the three of cups comes out, um, and the high priestess, this is an extra person, and this is a woman. She wears the moon on her forehead. Okay. Moon is about secrets and your fears. And the Three of Cups of the High Priestess, there is a third person, third party, loud and clear. You have a hanged man. You know, the hanged man is about Pisces. I told you the fish, the Pisces energy is very strong. If somebody has been confusing you on purpose, keeping the truth away from you, hoping that you don't find it. You know, that fog machine of words, they've kept you stuck. They've not given you Information, the delayed information coming to you. Somebody is coming in with a very quick information, the Knight of Swords. They're just coming in and delivering it to you, like vomiting it out. And that information is very harsh. The Hanged Man, the 12th house, okay, is a house of, you know, prisons and hospitals and, you know, spas and all that jazz. It's also the house of hidden affairs, things that you do, you know, um, well, Things done in the bedroom. It's, it's, it's about hidden things, okay? Be a hidden affair. It could be somebody confusing you on purpose. You, you, there, is, there is a lot of Pisces energy here. So, you know what I'm going to do? Scorpio, I'm going to go ahead and take my situation stand. Because I want to um, see if I can give you any additional message. What I'm getting loud and clear here so far is... There is deception in a home. Somebody has tried to stop some information from reaching you. It's about loyalty and children. You've allowed somebody into your home who you thought was a friend. They're not. You know, the puppy and playing. They're not. They're playing with you. What's that? I don't know what that message is. Hey. Comment below and let me know, please. Please, Scorpio, I would love to hear from you. You're making a choice, and your choice is to move away. And let me tell you, wherever you're going, it's going to be fantastic. Because you're leaving deception behind. You cannot continue like this. Okay. Let's okay. Can you give me some clear messages, please? Can you stop yours, please?
want to first start by telling you that home. This is about things in your home. This is a very, very strong energy in this reading. It's about things in your home. The Cancer card is also about a home. It's about moving, for sure, putting distance, and here it is sold, believing. But the home energy is very strong. This is some situation that is going on in your home. Now, this connection that you have with someone, okay, like I said, the Gemini card is about, you know, this love from, uh, what can I say? The other worlds, otherworldly love. Uh, you know, you're lost in each other's arms. It's like a magnetic connection to someone. You can't explain it. In fact, you believe that this was your soulmate. And in the soulmate card, you know, it's a similar friendship. There is something about your roots, whoever you're with. This is a very traditional relationship. You know this person, they're from your roots. And the Hierophant here tells me this is about somebody who's done things by the book, you know, with the church or the priest involved. This is a relationship that you thought this was your soulmate. You believed it. There's no doubt about it. You believe this was your soulmate. Now, there's a divine feminine here. I don't know if there's a queen of wands. There is a woman here who's dealing with two people. I don't think it's a masculine energy who's, who's uh, stepping out. I feel it's a woman. I feel this. I could be wrong, but it says loud and clear, divine feminine. Maybe she's going through this, but I don't feel that. I think there's a man going through this. The divine feminine is dealing with somebody else. Or there's something that he's questioning about, I don't know, about some secret that she's trying to hide. There's somebody who's trying to hide something, desperately trying to hide something in a home. Desperately. Now, you know, when I see this gossip, petty jealousy of the three of cups, this is three women sitting together and gossiping. Some kind of a jealousy here. I think somebody wants to break up a home. God. I wonder if you sat down with your friends as a divine feminine and you went out drinking or, you know, you sat and had your fun times and somebody gave you some harsh information, man. And that kind of blew your brains because then you went searching. You went searching. You went searching online, looking for records, see records. There's somebody trying to find some records in a book or going to the Hierophant is like an institution, you know, and the book of secrets, trying to find out something, some records. I don't know what this is about here, Scorpio. I don't know if it's records about a child. Why do I feel it's about a child? There's somebody in your home. I can't shake that off. Somebody went searching. I don't know what gossip you heard. Somebody went searching. And then I have this card of being anxious, crushed, broken. You know, and these cards to me, not able to sleep. You're sitting with that phone. I don't know if you found something on their phone. You went looking for something. The book, the book of secrets, records. You went and you felt stuck. Look at these energies. They're so similar. It's like you can't move. But these are your thoughts. These are your fears. You put yourself in the situation, okay? And I want you to know that no matter what somebody has done to you, the minute you see their true self, Scorpio, okay, it's your job to leave because you need to appreciate your, your appreciate yourself more. But you stayed here crushed, sad, broken. You couldn't get over some deceit and you felt alone. This word here, alone. Like an outsider looking in. It's a very heavy energy. This These two cards here.
what realization you came upon. You know, when I see this cookie uh, and this must-have indulgence, I wonder if there is somebody's ex, you know, because if it's a must-have indulgence, I've had it before. Hello. Is somebody still dealing with their ex and they're in a marriage? Just putting this up. And their partner found out. And I think, I hope that you didn't think that the ex was a friend. Wow. I don't know where these messages are coming from, but it's coming to light. You're becoming aware of this, that this person, I, this is a person in your home. Maybe they're pretending to be your friend and pretending to be loyal, somebody who you play with, but they're playing with you. And I'm not talking about tennis or badminton. They're playing. Somebody doing something right under your nose. I can't, I cannot shake this off. Somebody's taking a break, a pause, putting silence, no action. Okay. That's the hangman, you know, the Pisces is just taking a pause, not doing nothing. Crickets, you're moving away. That's the cancer card. You're just moving away. You do not want to deal with this anymore. You had it. Because I think what you found are the depth of this, this, this shit going on in your home. You just don't want to deal with it. You just want to go away. And somebody went looking for online records because it's about snooping. You did go looking for information. You're leaving. Taking a pause. This is the Pisces energy again. You're putting silence and you're just choosing to walk away towards something better because you are ascending. You are ascending. And you know, this whole energy of this petty jealousy and all this crap you're tired of, you do not want to be a part of the shenanigans. You don't. There's too much of interference going on in a home. And the people that you're trusting are not trustworthy. And the person that you found out is not trustworthy, somebody who was pretending to be a very good friend of yours and they're living with you. They have infiltrated your home, the enemy. God, what messages are these? You're ascending, my darlings. You're ascending. And let me tell you, okay, you are ascending, okay, to your spiritual path and awakening. That is also Pisces because that's about the third eye. Your Ajna is opening. You are the high priestess too. Trust your intuition. Trust your gut. Okay, your real soulmate is coming in. Expect a um, spontaneous visit from them. I don't know who this is. You know, for me, this seems like the night of uh, uh, night of pentacles, who's very slow because they're coming on an air balloon. They're going to be probably taking a long time to reach you. But this could be somebody traveling to you, popping up out of nowhere, back into your life, and you are ascending to find your real soulmate. Okay, comment below. Let me know, please, 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 please. Now, what I'm going to do is. I'm just going to take a few kippers on this. And then I'll take uh, some oracle cards for you. Maybe I'll take my handwritten cards for you, Scorpio. Let's see. Hi, right, Kipper. Can you give me some messages for my Scorpio, please? Thank you. Okay. I want to first tell you there are two cards of Duration, legal. There's a divine feminine here. Give me one more card, please. I have the death card again. You've shown up again in your reading. Your energy is very strong here, along with the sun. And the cancer energy, the home. This is something in a home. You are bringing an end to a situation. An end of a way of being. I feel this now. You found out some information. Okay, this is not fun information. Because you went searching that finding out. You went looking for it. Remember records? Put you in despair. Because this information that has come in. has Look at the expression like. It's, it's shock. Yes. Whatever you found out has put you in this. I'll tell you what you've been, what you found out. You know, again, this is like the divine feminine card. You know, who the divine feminine is here. Very similar to her, uh, you know, her persona. This is somebody who's younger, uh, very beautiful, very, very, very well put together. 
Okay. This is somebody who, I think this is the individual who's the culprit, if I, if I can put this out there. It's a privileged lady. I, there's no money problems here at all. Somebody here who is, you know, this could be somebody who's in the beauty and cosmetic business. You know, a little bit jealous, a little bit, you know, the childishly naughty types, you know. Beautician, stylist, you know, selling luxury items, that type of a woman. It could also be a girlfriend or it could also be a colleague. So that garden card, I don't know, a young lover. <laughs> there is this woman who's who's up to no good. I, I think you found out that they're courting somebody. They're courting somebody outside a relationship. You know, meeting social life, this is the garden card. Like the garden card where you go out in your social life, you meet with people, and then you have the three of cups. Somebody is out and about dating, courting someone, and they're technically in a commitment. And their partner found out. And this has been a very long journey of bringing this to a close. Whoever has found out, whatever has come to life, somebody is closing this out. You know, that courtship card, you know, is also about courting, yes, like, you know, dating. It could also be about meetings, association, that's the garden energy. So somebody dating somebody in their friend circle and somebody has found out, but they're married. And their friend also knows they're married. Somebody's pretending to be a friend and living in your home, but they're actually more than a friend to your partner. Scorpio, I'm just going to put this out there. In a very long journey. But you've got signs. But you've just refused to believe it, Scorpio. But now you have got undeniable proof and somebody has come in with very harsh information. I wonder if it's one of your, if it's the Divine Feminine's friends who's just jealous and they have come in and given you gossip. Just putting this out there. You know, this card in the Kipper deck is about somebody being sick, which is possible because I have the Eight of Swords here, which is a mental prison. The card of inaction. You're not being able to make a choice even though you're seeing the truth, okay? And there's somebody who's very lustful here. There's a very lustful sex-based energy. I don't know why I feel the need to say that too. Now, this card, okay, is of somebody who is in this energy path. Somebody's gone to the hospital because they've been so sick. But you know that anxiety card? You could have gone to the hospital. Somebody has. I'll say card of bed pleasures. You found, I hope you didn't catch them in your home. Because they're living with you. This is something in a home. And then I have this energy again of moving. Moving. Changing. Cancer energy. You know, cancer is very strong. Leo is very strong. In your reading. Cancer Leo. Even Pisces to some extent is very strong. Somebody has found out about a third person in their home. And I think this person is in your home pretending to be your friend. You know what I'm going to do? I'll take some of my books to give you some oracle messages, okay? Scorpio, let's go. Somebody's in shock. <clears throat> shock. Total shock. One card just flipped. Just give me some uh, oracle messages, please, for it my Scorpio. Please give me some guidance. One more. Just one more. No, there's one more. Cards, your cards have been so stubborn, Scorpio. Let me show you, okay, what you have. The first card that just flipped out was violet. Faithfulness and modesty. This is about loyalty. Remember that dog energy? This is about loyalty, faithfulness, and modesty. Modesty is a shining light that prepares the mind to receive knowledge and the heart for truth. Some of you <laughs> can't believe the truth. <clears throat> you have graciousness and benevolence, snapdragon. Some of you have been very gracious. You've showered money on someone. You were in a very high vibration, okay, of being the caring, loving person. Yes, heart, passion, and money-driven, yes, but you've been Gracious and benevolent to somebody. No act of kindness, no matter how small, is ever wasted. You have Camellia, destiny. 
destiny. This is all happening, okay? Whatever is happening, this death of a relationship is happening in divine timing. This is your destiny, Scorpio. It is not in the stars to hold our destiny, but in ourselves. Iris, rainbows and messages. You have got messages from your angels. I know this. When it rains, look for rainbows. And when it's dark, look for the stars. The universe had tried to reach you. Knock, knock. Scorpio, Scorpio was not paying attention. Gloxenia, love at first sight and proud spirit. Somebody's coming into your life. That's going to be love at first sight. When I saw you, I fell in love and you smiled because you knew. And the person who's coming back, you know them. You don't have to speak to them. It's like a magnetic connection because you're ascending. Remember that card? Sweet pea, blissful pleasure. Perhaps there's something you missed in a home. Follow your bliss and the universe will open doors where they were walls. You know, and walls is so much like a home. Like a home. But this home felt like just brick walls. It wasn't a home. You're going towards your bliss. I know this. Scorpio, can you comment below? Let me know what you're going through. Like, share, subscribe. It really helps me. And I thank you in advance. I cannot wait to come back again and do another reading for you, my darlings. But until then, I just want to say goodbye. I love you. And namaste. Bye-bye.